Good morning. Good morning. It's great having all of you here with us this Wednesday morning. This truly is a day that the Lord has made, so let us rejoice and be glad in it. And uh, as I look outside and the beautiful sun and some white puffy clouds, it uh, just continues to remind me of, of God's creation and the power that God has over his creation. And uh, so we're going to look at Jonah chapter 2 today, and there's a separation and reunion in this reading. And as I was reading it, I became a little uh, sad and, and yet uh, quite hopeful. Uh, just because of all the pressures that I think many of us are bearing. And I immediately started singing, How Great Thou Art. And then my mind wandered off to be still my soul. So I think I may try singing a stanza this morning. I haven't done that since I think uh, during the week that we did the, the reading of the Psalms um, for for all of us. And, and a wonderful reminder how we can uh, allow our souls to be still in, in the love and the hope of our Lord and Savior. So let us go to the Lord this morning in prayer. I thank you, my heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would beat me this day from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. All right, so again, we're going to look at Jonah chapter 2. It's a short chapter. We're going to look at it, uh, but we're going to look at it from that separation and reunion uh, perspective and, and how at times, you know, we, human, humanity, has felt separated from God as Jonah does in this chapter and, and how our loving God has reunited us at the cross uh, through the blood of his son. So let's go to Jonah 2. Then Jonah prayed to the Lord his God from the belly of the fish, saying, I called out to the Lord out of my distress, and he answered me. Out of the belly of Sheol I cried, and you heard my voice. For you cast me into the deep, into the heart of the seas, and the floods surrounded me. All your waves and your billows passed over me. Then I said, I am driven away from your sight. Yet I shall again look upon your holy temple. The waters closed in over me to take my life. The deep surrounded me. Weeds were wrapped around about my head at the roots of the mountains. I went down to the land whose bars closed upon me forever. Yet you brought up my life from the pit. O oh Lord, my God, when my life was fainting away, I remembered the Lord and my prayer came to you into your holy temple. Those who pay regard to vain idols forsake their hope of steadfast love. But I, with the voice of thanksgiving, will sacrifice to you. What I have vowed, I will pay. Salvation belongs to the Lord. And the Lord spoke to the fish, and it vomited Jonah out upon the dry land. And I just love that graphic vision of that very last passage of how how violently Jonah came out of the sea, how he was vomited up onto the shore. Um, but I think in, in as we look at that too, is, is how quickly our Lord acts. And, and he does so on our behalf. But as I mentioned to you as I was first beginning, uh, one of the hymns that kind of came to my mind, and I can almost sense... Uh, this would be something that Jonah might have sung had it have been written at that point um, when, you know, he begins to proclaim what God has done for him and, and how there's a calming effect there. Uh, again, he was feeling like he had been separated from God when he had been swallowed up by the depths, when he was in the belly of the fish, and, uh, and then he remembered his God our God, and praise to him and, and what God had accomplished for him. So briefly, I just want to sing to you the first stanza from Be Still My Soul. Be still my soul, the Lord is on your side. Bear patiently 
the cross of grief or pain. Leave to your God to order and provide in every change. He faithful will remain. Be still, my soul, your best, your heavenly friend. Through thorny ways leads to a joyful end. And uh, I, I think about Jonah in, in, that, in that verse. I, I think about ourselves and our lives and what we're going through today and uh, how there really does seem at times in our lives we feel separated. We feel separated from God. Uh, right now, what I'm going through, I, I feel separated from friends and family because we, we just seem to be on different ends of the spectrum. And uh, Brandy and I were talking this morning and and as I'm reading things that are somewhat disheartening, um, I, I just wish that we would we would all take a moment and, and really give God thanks and praise that he will work through uh, each one of us, and he will work to his glory through this current situation. And, and yet we become so focused on, on certain components of what's taking place today. And... Um, Boy, to be reminded to be still, to still my soul, to, to give me some rest and reassurance that, that God will carry us through this time um, really brings uh, comfort to me. And it was comforting to sing that this morning. I don't know if Brandy heard me as I was singing in the office. I was practicing How Great Thou Art and Be Still My Soul. Uh, they're just beautiful hymns, but they're hymns of comfort. And, and that's exactly what Jonah was, was given by God uh, in our reading today. Uh, as Jonah remembered the Lord and, and prayed to him, his prayers were heard and God stilled his soul. Uh, God rescued him from the depths of Sheol. God vomited him out onto the shore, right? Uh, that, that's showing God's power over creation uh, through, through that great fish. And uh, how wonderful, God does that very same thing for us as well in our own lives when, when we remember him and we call upon him in prayer. Uh, it's almost amazing. You know, it's beyond my human comprehension, and I'm sure for, for all of you as well, how the Lord answers our prayers. And it isn't until we take a, a moment to step back and, and really give thought and prayer uh, to, to the situation that we begin to see that our, the scales fall off our eyes and, and we can see the things around us which, with much greater clarity uh, and how God truly is working. And, and I think each one of you, brothers and sisters in Christ, who are watching here this morning and, and who will join us later, um, you are an encouragement to, to both Brandy and I, and, and you are certainly an answer to our prayers uh, from God because you continue to encourage us and to lift us up. And, and we pray that we, we are able to do the same for you each day as we gather. Um, any, any thoughts on this passage, Brandy? Verse 2, um, when it says, I called for help. I mean, it just shows the, the power of prayer and right there in that verse that, you know, we just need to continue praying. Yeah, and Jonah's a great example, right? Uh, you know, when we are feeling overwhelmed, when we're feeling that uh, the waters have have crashed in over our heads and, and we're sinking, uh, to call out to God. God wants to hear from us. He wants to hear our, our cries for help. Uh, he is a God who is merciful and gracious, and, and he answers them. Um, but he but we are to call to him. And Jonah is a good example. And, and thank you for pointing that out. That is wonderful that we, we can do that. And so we do. We see that separation where Jonah was separated or felt like he was being separated from God and, and how he was reunited with God uh, as he continued to communicate. And we can be uh, reminded of that today as well. If you find yourself where you feel separated, um, 
you know, take a moment, be patient, and, and lift up your prayers to God. He is there. He is listening to you, his dear children. So let's go to the Lord in prayer at this time. Dear Heavenly Father, we, we thank you for stilling our, our hearts and our souls at this time, that we may rest in your word and find comfort and hope knowing that we have been reunited to you through the blood of Christ on the cross. And we look forward to that glorious day when your son will return and, and bring us home and we will be reunited for all eternity. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So brothers and sisters in Christ, go in peace today and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.